do a quick video on how to wire, how to wire up this uh, TCC torque converter lockup switch using a five prong relay. Here's how you're gonna wire it up. The 30 is gonna go to the ignition, 86 is ground, 85 is the brake switch, brake pedal switch providing power to 85. 87 is gonna go to your transmission or your ECU depending on which transmission you're running. This will work for the 700R4, 204R, 4L60E, and 4L80E. What's gonna happen is when you turn on your ignition, you already have a ground and then power to the 30. It's gonna automatically give you power at the 87A, which goes to your transmission or your ECU, like I mentioned before. And this is gonna be your brake. When you apply your brake, it's gonna power, it's gonna provide power to 85, and what's gonna happen is this relay switch is gonna automatically switch it from 87A to 87 we're not going to be using 87 so that's what we want to do and that's how this is set up these uh, torque converter solenoid is designed to be activated by the fourth gear lockup this one right here is a two wire so it would be activated by a ground pressure switch on your fourth gear meaning when you get up to fourth gear it's going to provide pressure to the switch causing it to ground and since you already have power going to it at all times it's going to open it up and it's going to apply the torque converter lockup. Meaning the clutch and your torque converter is going to lock up. Your transmission and your motor will be running at the same speed and it will help with gas mileage, RPMs will drop, all that good stuff. But what this does, setting it up with this relay, is that when you set up, when, you, when you're going 65, <clears throat> you want to be able to disengage it. And since there's pressure there and power, there's no way it's going to disengage by itself. So when you hit your brake, it's going to cut the power to it and that's going to make it to where your torque converter clutch is gonna let go and that way you'll be able to stop and not have your car keep trying to go because it will keep trying to go on you if your torque converter stays locked up. Now I have it set up here so you can see it jump from 87A which is the middle one, this blue wire, going to that test light there and it's gonna jump from, from 87A to 87 when I apply the brake switch. This would be your ignition. So your ignition is on providing power automatically to 8070 like I mentioned before. Now your torque converter solenoid is ready to work. When you get up to the, <clears throat> the right RPMs and the right, the right uh, miles per hour, it should be around 65. Now we're at 60 miles per hour and we need to come to a stop. We need to release that torque converter so we gotta cut the power out. When you hit your brake, it's gonna switch it over to the other one, 87. It's gonna from 87 to 87. So now you don't now it's gonna release and you'll be able to stop. See? Every time you hit your brake, it's gonna switch the power. That's how you wire that up. Another way to do it, if you can use one of these type of brake switches in your car, is you get one of these brake switches that, that would be found in like a GM car that has a cruise control. This bottom part would be wired the same. It would, you won't mess it on your car. You would leave it to power coming in at all times. And then this power or other wire would go to your brakes. Like it's already, it's like it's already set up. This one over here, you would, you would run power to one side from your ignition. And then the other side would go to your ECU or your transmission. Because what happens here on this one, this one only has power when you hit the brakes. And this other one up here has power all the time, but when you hit the brake, it cuts out the power. And it'll, it'll do the same thing as a relay. Depends on how you want it, whatever is easier. Some cars you can't run these, so that then you can run the relay. Some people just want to run a relay. Depends on what you want to do. Let me set this up so I can show you how this switch works. Brake switch. So I hooked up to this thing. You can see, as soon as I hit the brake switch, it's going to cut power to this one over here. See? Watch. It has power all the time. Torque converter can work. When you hit your brakes, it cuts the power. So there's two ways you can run it. These switches are actually pretty cool. I've been running one in my car for about 
I don't know, about 18 years now, I never had no problem with it. So yeah, you need to get power from there to here, to your transmission, this goes in your transmission, and then it's gonna run power directly to there. This is gonna go to your ground on your fourth gear lockup. And your fourth gear lockup pressure switch will provide the ground. And then once you get to 65 miles an hour, it'll engage. It'll, it'll open up. Sometimes these come with one wire only, so it'll be grounded to itself. And it'll only have the power wire. And you'll, have, you'll still have a fourth uh, gear pressure switch, but it'll have two of these right here. A little, your plugs in and you'll put, it'll be your power, so you plug in the power wire on one side and then it'll continue on the other side to the positive side of the TPC solenoid. And it'll make the connection once you get to fourth gear. Once you hit fourth gear, 65 miles an hour. I'll show you, I can show you what I mean on this car right here. Same switch, but it only has one wire. As you can see right here, it's grounded to itself. And then this power wire is coming in from the outside, like I was telling you before. And this is the fourth gear pressure solenoid. But instead of being a ground, it has two wires and they're positive. One is coming from the outside. It's just one, I'm only using one wire. This wire is not being used. So there's one wire positive all the time coming in through here to the switch. And when you force gear gets enough pressure, it, may, it completes the connection here. And then this wire goes up under this one and it goes over here and completes the circuit, engages the solenoid. When I hit my brakes, it cuts power to the wire, it cuts power to this, and it releases it. And that's how it works. Simple. Well, I hope it helps you guys out. Thank you for watching.